All right, guys. So since this might be your first time using a DSLR camera, I wanted to do a quick uh, review of the two different models of cameras that we have in class and how to get them set up for you on the first day. Okay, so I have two of our DSLRs here. This one is the T3i. You can see it right there at the bottom. And this one is the T6 right there. Okay. And the only real difference between these two cameras is on the back side. Okay. The T3 has a flip out screen that can fold and swivel. Okay. And the T6 does not. Other than that, they have all the same features and same abilities. So it doesn't really matter which one you have, you'll be able to do everything that we're going to do for the class. Okay. Now, what, when you first get your camera out of your bin, you're going to see that it has a number on top of it that corresponds with your bin number and also with your desk number. Um, so each of the stations has a, a number uh, on the screen or on the base of your screen that you'll correspond. You wanna make sure that your camera always matches that computer, okay? I'm gonna take this one for example, and on the cameras that have the flip out screen, okay? It's got a slot on the side that can be opened up for your memory card, okay? And your memory card should already be in the camera. If it's not, you can check and see if it's in there. But I want to call your attention to that little diagram right there. That tells you the direction that the memory card needs to go in. So you see how there's a corner missing? That corner is always going to be facing towards the top. And then you're just going to pop it in there until it clicks and close it up. Never force the memory card. If it feels like it's not fitting right, stop what you're doing. Come get me. We'll fit it in there the right way. Okay. The other thing that we need to do on here is switch the battery. And on the bottom of your camera, you've got a little hatch here. You're just going to pop it with your fingernail. And you can see this one doesn't have a battery in it. The ones with the flip out screen have gray batteries. Okay. So you'll only ever use a gray battery in this. And if you look inside, you can see that there are some little, let's see if I can tilt it there. There's some little prongs at the bottom that line up with these little prongs. So you're going to put that in and just drop it and let it click and close it up. Okay. And we'll set this one aside for a second. On the T6s, it's a little bit different. There's no side hatch for your memory card. Both the battery and the memory card are in the bottom of the camera. Okay. So we're going to open this up. And this one's already got a battery. It probably needs to be switched. But these ones use a black battery. Okay. You got four uh, copper contacts. Those are going to line up inside and you'll drop it into place. And then your memory card is right there. When you pop it out, you can see on the bottom, that tells you the right direction that it's supposed to go in. Okay, so cut corner like that, pop it in, push it with your thumbnail, and you're good to go. All right, so now that our two cameras are up and running, we wanna make sure, it's been a long time since we've used these cameras, so we wanna make sure that all of their settings are back to the factory settings, okay? So what I'm gonna do is on that camera on the very top, you've got your on off switch. I'm gonna click it on and you'll hear it wake up. And on my screen on the back, I've got a menu button here at the top. So I'm gonna press menu and we're gonna use these little circular buttons here to navigate through the menus, okay? And you'll often hear me say first red menu, second red menu, first blue menu so that you know where I'm going when we're doing this, all right? So to set this last setting, we want to turn our mode dial here on top of the camera to M for manual. And you'll know it's set when you see that little white line line up with the manual setting, okay? On the back of my camera, I'm going to press the menu button again. And I'm going to go all the way over to the last yellow menu. And one of the things you'll see in there is this one that says clear settings. Select that and do clear all camera settings. This is going to wipe the camera. So if any other student has used it and put some weird settings on it, it's going to take it back to just like it came in fresh out of the box. And we want that to start with. So now I'm back into my regular shooting mode and I can go back with my menu button and clear it out. Okay. The other thing we're going to do here is in the first red menu, we're going to be shooting photos in a couple different formats um, throughout the, the class. Right now, we're just going to shoot JPEGs, but later on, we'll be doing camera raw, which you might remember. 
So in the very first red menu where it says quality, I want you to select that and we're gonna set it to large smooth. Okay, that's the L with the smooth curve next to it. And go ahead and press enter to make sure that yours is also set to large smooth. Okay, and then that should get us into a good spot for what we're gonna shoot today. When you're all done, take your mode dial now and let's put it into this mode, which is auto, no flash. It looks like a lightning bolt with a line through it. That means for the most part, the camera is going to set all the settings for you and it will keep the flash from going on while you're shooting. Okay. On the side of your lens, you're going to see two switches. This is for your focus, autofocus or manual focus. Today, you can push it to the AF for autofocus. And the camera stabilizer, we also want that to be on. Okay. So this camera is now ready to shoot for today's activity. And all you'll have to worry about is pressing down the shutter button to focus and then pressing it all the way down to take the picture. Okay. You can zoom using your zoom knob right here. And other than that, you're ready to go. Okay. I'm going to do the same steps over here on the T6. So again, I'm going to go to your mode dial. I'm going to put it into manual mode M switch it on. On these cameras, the menu button is down here this time. So I'm going to press menu and I'll go all the way over to the last yellow menu. I'm going to come down to clear settings and clear all camera settings. Okay. Go ahead and hit okay. And that's going to reset the camera back to normal. Then I'm going to go to the first red menu and make sure that my image quality is set to L smooth. And this looks ready to go. So I'm all set there. My lens is in autofocus. My stabilizer is on. Camera's all set. Okay. Good luck today, guys. And we'll have some more camera updates in future projects. Thanks again.